Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In Elden Ring, let's do an update on my 063Y No Pickups Challenge Run. Uh, we'll look at a, a couple bosses here. First will be uh, False Axe, down in the uh, Deep Root Depths. Uh, here I'm using a couple whips. I've been liking whips. Apparently they do uh, strike damage, which was kind of surprising, but uh, once you think about it, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> And what else we got here? We summoned, um, Tish. That's gonna be probably my best summon, uh, because, uh, can't pick up the, uh, Mimic tier with this, uh, challenge run. But yeah, still kind of the most difficult thing about this challenge run is just healing. Like here, if I'm uh, dual wielding, I need to uh, change over to a uh, Sacred Seal, equip that, go through the long casting animation, uh, but yeah, summons can really help me, uh, you know, buy time enough to uh, get that heal off. But yeah, double whips, they're pretty fun. <laughs> and we got the uh, slow roll on, but uh, we'll see if we can make it work. Of the dragons, I kind of consider False Axe one of the easier. Which is strange, because we can't ride the, uh, the horse in here. And I usually like to ride the horse when I fight the dragons. I don't know, maybe the attacks aren't as AoE. Maybe, uh... I don't know. <laughs> the lightning, for example, it's not that difficult to dodge, you know, because it... Um, telegraphs itself. Uh, there is the, um, what is it, Destined Death. But not that big of a deal. Okay, there it goes. And then I exchanged this for the, uh, the twin uh, lightning bolts from the, uh, the Remembrance. Okay, next, let's look at Moog. If I can beat this guy, I'll be able to access the uh, DLC. Uh, this time I'll be using the uh, the Great Stars. Moog is weak to bleed, so we can take advantage of that. We can eat the shrimp, raise our uh, damage mitigation. We can put the Blood Flame on the Great Stars for even more bleed. We can summon Tish again. Perfect. Get that uh, Dust and Death set damage in there. And then get in close and then start the Wild Strikes. <laughs> and then while Moog is distracted, we can just keep going until my stamina and or FP run out. Yeah, we took away about 90% his uh, HP there. And then I'll drink the potion to protect from the super attack. Keep going with the wild strikes and take down Mo. <laughs> Just totally melting him. Trying to see what armor I'm wearing here. Can't tell though. Alright, good deal. I picked up the spear. I think I replicated this one and I got both uh, rewards, so yeah. Okay, finally, let's look at Placidosix. And then I guess I can talk about uh, upcoming videos. Uh, tomorrow I want to make the one about uh, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, the uh, sales reports for May. I also want to talk about uh, Square Enix and its terrible, no good, very bad earnings report. <laughs> uh, let's see, I also want to do a review of Elden Ring after having played it 400 hours. And I want to talk about, uh, what is it? Oh, some uh, pronunciation differences between the uh, the Japanese and the English in other things. But yeah, tentatively, my voice is back. Still coughing a lot, still got a fever, but uh, I can make it for this video at least. <laughs> okay, but anyway, uh, we are using the Godskin uh, Peeler. I can use the uh, Ash of War on there and then do kind of the Whirly Tornado Black Flame 
which would do lots of damage. Although now, I have uh, defeated the Godskin Duo, and then I got the Ash of War of that skill, so I could just use that on any weapon, but... I don't know, I just like using this weapon, so we'll uh, put it on here. And then I found with this fight, you know... I mean, this is going to sound obvious, but as long as I can survive the attacks, then... I can win. <laughs> but yeah, it's just surviving the attacks, waiting for an opening, and then doing the, uh, the whirly hurricane thing. Uh, but here too, actually, the boss kind of gives you lots of uh, windows uh, to heal or to buff again, uh, which is very helpful for uh, my slow healing challenge build here. But yeah, almost done uh, with this run, and I'm glad. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to do the healing by incantations only uh, challenge ever again. Yeah, healing with flasks just makes such a difference. Alright, looking for an opening, this might be it. Okay, 4,000 damage, I'll take it. And another chance to heal. Alright, dodge that lightning, hopefully. Nope. <laughs> Alright, I got the timing on that kind of flying claw down fairly well. Don't have the timing down on these lasers, though. These are pretty crazy. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, but Plakidosix. Fun boss. I still have to beat uh, Midir from Dark Souls 3. Someday. Someday I'll get around to that. Ugh. So there I was crouching because of that hated L3 button, so I wasn't able to roll. That's the reason why I got hit by that. <laughs> Alright, find an opening. Start the tornado. Okay, good damage. Maybe one more of those. And I don't like this, when he teleports in and immediately does a claw attack, because it's hard to know like what direction he's going to come from. Alright, this might be an opening. Okay, he's breathing the fire, but we'll squeeze it in there, okay. Alright, so with this challenge run, I have, like, Malekith and Millennia, and then I have the, uh, the Bosch rush at the end. Pretty much everything else is done. Oh, except for Rykard, I need to, uh, play him as well. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.